My name is Christoph Wickert. I'm member of the, or I'm a speaker of the LXDE Foundation, and I want to tell you a little bit about LXQt, the next version of the lightweight X11 desktop environment. Um, first of all, I want to give you a brief history on LXDE. LXDE was originally started in 2005 when Hong Ying Yi from Taiwan also known as PCMan, started uh, writing a file manager called PCMan FM. Um, then he forked FB panel, the Fluxbox panel, and uh, started a desktop that he called LXDE. Um, in 2012, the Razor Cute project was started. Um, it was also a similar project, also have a very light desktop, um, very light and very fast desktop for small devices. Um, but based on Qt instead of GTK. Um, in 2013, uh, PCMan ported his file manager to Qt. Um, he had some problems with the GTK version, and uh, he figured out that it was easier to port it uh, than to fix the issues. He said porting it took him two days or something like this. So um, he was really happy about the possibilities he had with Qt and, and all the tool chain and the development tools around it. So he decided to completely switch to Qt and uh, therefore Razor Qt and LXDE joined forces in 2013 and have now become LXQt. So the core concepts are still the same as uh, they were for LXDE. Um, it should be lightweight, it should be modular. Modular means that you can run every component individually of each other, uh, that you can replace components with different components from, from other environments. Um, you can run the KDE kicker panel just fine in LXQt, for example, and so on. And um, no long dependency chains. That has something that has changed a little bit. I'm going to address this later and it should be fast. The original target hardware was something that could run Windows 98. Okay, these days are meanwhile over, but nevertheless, it's, it runs really smoothly on uh, low hardware devices. So, what is LXQt? Um, it has everything that you would expect from a desktop. It has a login manager, but we didn't write our own login manager. We started, we just wrote a greeter for L um, LXDM, uh, sorry, for LightDM, the project that was originally started by the Ubuntu guys. Uh, LX panel was ported to Qt. Um, LX session was ported to Qt. Uh, not only the session manager in the sense of saving and restoring sessions, but also in applying X settings like font sizes and so on. Uh, there's a control center, Alex Config. Um, yeah, I already mentioned the port of PCMan FM, the file manager. Same for Alex Image, the image viewer. And there also is a power management component called Alex Qt Power Management. Um, we also have a couple of helpers, a display configuration tool, tool to manage the global keyboard shortcuts, uh, a notification daemon that is responsible for drawing this nice notification bubbles on your screen, um, a policy kit authentication uh, dialog when you need to run commands on behalf with, with enhanced privileges uh, through policy kit. Same for open SSH. Uh, we have a run dialog, we have a mount helper, and one of the very neat things is the LXQt Qt plugin. Um, if you have KDE installed, it will just pick up and apply all your settings from KDE. That means your theme, your fonts, and everything. Under the hood, we now have two libraries. Originally, as I said, uh, we did not plan to have libraries, or we did not have, we did not plan to have long dependency chains, but uh, some abstraction layers do make sense. Uh, there's one core library, uh, libLXQt, and there's uh, libLXQt XDG. Um, it's an implementation of the free desktop um, 
uh, desktop menu entry specification. Uh, that's mainly a fork of the of the um, that was done by KDE. I'm not sure what it's called in KDE. Unfortunately, we still have some LXDE components under the hood. Uh, this is mainly libfm. It's a generic library uh, for file managers. Uh, the good thing is it was written generic, so it doesn't... Uh, at that time, uh, PC Man wasn't really sure that he was, would continue with GTK forever. So the good thing is it's generic. The ugly thing is it's written in C, and it's uh, also building the GTK version. Um, so this is something that probably needs to be completely redone or rewritten in uh, C++ and Qt. Uh, then we have men menu cache. It's a daemon that r reads the menus and uh, make, compiles a small cache file of it so the menu can, or applications that use menu files can access it faster. That's also written in C and um, yeah, I know there's a lot of developers here and I would like to ask you to help us and uh, port these things over to uh, C++ and Qt because then we can get completely rid of all the old uh, legacy stuff we have in there. All right. Um, summary, use it. Uh, it's uh, already at the version we are currently having is 0 0.7. Uh, that, that version applies to the whole LXDE uh, LXQt desktop. Before that, we never had a unique version number, but everybody just released their components uh, with a different versioning. So we are now having regular releases, and that's also something that's partly uh, caused by, by Qt, by having a nice, nice tool chain for building all this. So it's really mature enough. You can run it on, on any device that you want to have a basic desktop. Um, you can use it for your embedded project. Basically everything where you need uh, more than just a frame buffer or more than, than just a window manager where you ha want to have some basic controls for, um, for a normal desktop, what you think, what your users would expect from a normal desktop, maybe what they know from some legacy operating systems like Windows or something. So that it typically follows the, the classical desktop paradigm and um, that's what you will see in the live demo as well. Uh, speaking of the live demo, I hope, nope, that does not work. Okay, then we can, then I will finish this before I go to the live demo. Um, there's more, more information on the web. You can find all the source code there. You can find the blog and the wiki and so on there. As you can see, some uh, of the sources are still mixed between LXDE and uh, LXQt. And of course, we also have some communication channels, mainly IRC, a mailing list, and a forum. So, here you see, um, okay, it's a bit cut off, too bad. Here you can see the basic LXDE desktop. It's pretty similar to what you know from other operating systems. We have the configuration center. Um, we have basically everything you would expect from a desktop. Of course, not all these um, applications that are installed on this uh, machine are LXDE components or LXQt components, but some of them, there also are some really nice and lightweight uh, applications. If anybody is looking for a decent browser, please go for Kubezilla. It's the best browser I know. Um, and yeah, whatever you want from a desktop, it's certainly not as elaborate and, and as mature as KDE, but uh, consider it the, the little brother of KDE and uh, use it for your projects. Um, and of course, when you're when you started using it, when you found it to be useful for you, we would really appreciate if you start contributing to the project as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.